Hey, so recently I purchased a power bank off eBay. So it's a solar battery charger and um, I just thought I'd do a review on it. So first of all, it's advertised as 50,000 milliamps, which first of all, I highly doubt. Um, I think it's too small and I just don't think the technology is there for, you know, this this kind of size to be that, that powerful. So um, yeah, what I might do towards the end of the review is take it apart and have a look at the battery packs and we'll see what they're really they're really packing so um, that's the back there don't know if you can read that but it just says power bank capacity 3.7 volts 50,000 milliamp um, yeah and a bunch of other a bunch of other stuff so here's the front panel here first of all so you've got two USB um, out, outputs so you, that's where you can plug your devices in to charge them a power button here which turns it on Four LEDs, which are supposed to show the uh, charging rate or uh, how much power is left in the battery, and this small one here is to actually charge the unit um, without using the solar. So the solar side of things uh, it works, but the LEDs sometimes show some weird things going on. I've sometimes put it in the sun on, and I've seen them all light up, and they just all stay lit up. So I don't know if that means it's charging or not. I'm pretty certain that when it's charging, it's actually it's actually supposed to just uh, flash the one LED until the battery gets further and further charged until they're all full. Um, I'm not too sure. I haven't really experimented experimented with it that much, but it does seem to charge. I think it charges pretty slowly, um, but definitely as a battery as a battery pack and charging it with the cable here, it works great. Um, as I said, I don't think it's 50,000 milliamps, um, but if it was, it would mean you'd be able to charge something like an iPhone 5 about 30 times. So I, I highly doubt that. But like I said, we'll take it apart and I'll see what's actually in it, if they've even marked the batteries. It's pretty common of with these kind of products that they they make, make up the output and um, they make up the battery size and things like that. So I bought this on eBay for about 35, 35 Australian dollars. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. Um, it does work good, um, so you know I wouldn't say it's useless. It works. It works pretty good. It charges your stuff when you need it. Um, the solar side of things, as I said, I'm still working it out. Sometimes it doesn't seem to charge. Sometimes it does. The lights sometimes do some weird things, which I'll try and show you in a moment. Um, the instruction manual is useless. Uh, it's pretty much for another battery, another battery pack. So it mentions nothing about solar. So. Um, yeah, basically just tells you how to plug things in, but it's for a generic battery pack, not for this one. So it's annoying because it doesn't actually tell you uh, what when it's charging and how to charge it solar and with the solar and all that kind of stuff. The other thing it comes with is a little bag of little bag of cables, so you can oops you can pull out the USB here, and it's on the end it's got a circular female uh, sorry female circular plug here. And you can just plug some of the some of the other plugs in the end there, and then plug that into the charger and, and use it. You don't need this if you've got your own cables for all your own stuff. That's fine. You can use those. Um, but if you've lost a cable or something, then it works out great. So it even comes with the iPhone, the older iPhone uh, plug. Uh, it doesn't come with a lightning plug, the new iPhone cable plug. But that's fine. Like I said, if you have your own, you can use all your own cables, plugs, or whatever. So. It does come with a few though, which is good. And um, as I said, it comes with a cable to charge it. So that little one there, I think that's a mini USB or micro USB. Um, so yeah, you can charge it via power without the solar, so that's good. So um, I'll just try and show you what it does when it's actually out in the sun or exposed. It's a pretty gloomy day today, but I'll see what I can get. Okay, so just gonna place it on the window seal and just keep an eye on the LEDs there and we'll see what happens. Sometimes they don't light up at all. I mean, right now it's pretty gloomy, so it was charging on here uh, here before, but. Okay. Let's see if we can get some kind of reaction. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, sometimes um, sometimes they do play little tricks, um, the lights. So sometimes they all just stay lit up. Sometimes it'll 
continually flash on one and then as it charges it'll go to the second one and the third one and the fourth one i think that means it's actually charging so i'm pretty sure from the tests i've done i'm pretty sure when it's flashing the one led and it slowly as it charges it slowly starts flashing two then three then four i think that means it's charging i think when they're all lit up it means there's bad light or when they're not lit up lit up at all it means there's bad light um as i said i'm still yet to work that out um so yeah that is a bit strange but uh, when you turn it on it shows you see why it's showing four leds now i have no idea i just turned it on it's definitely not fully charged see how i moved it out of the light and it's gone down to two which is correct okay now one now none so there you go so two um two leds is, is half charged i don't know why when i'm putting it in the sun it's going full that's what i mean by it does some strange things um yeah, so it is probably better to use just charging it normally via the cable and then using your uh, using your accessories to get charged by it. Um, so for that, it's good. For the solar side of things, I'm still working that out. I mean, I think it works. In an emergency, it's probably great, but um, as far as reliability goes, I'm not too sure about it just yet. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to take it apart and we'll see if... see what kind of batteries are really inside and um, or whether they're even marked and... Yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, I've just started taking it apart and the LEDs are already doing some weird things. That right there, I think is how it's supposed to, uh, not that. <laughs> yeah, see, it's just starting to flush them all and it's strange. So if it's in the right sunlight, I've noticed that it does flash. Not like that, but at the second LED, like I said before, the first LED will keep flashing until the charge level goes up, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. So I think it does work properly. It's just um, a bit strange one to get used to. So it's just held in. The whole thing's held together by four screws on this side, four screws on the other. Um, let's see how this thing's built. Okay, so the solar panel there. Just lean that up against there. That's the solar panel. And here are the battery packs. So let's see if they're even marked. Okay. We got 4,000 milliamp, and it looks like there's two of them, so, yeah, looks like there's two of them, <clears throat> so I'd say at max this is probably 8,000 milliamp, which is still, it's still really good, um, 4,000 milliamps, uh, 8,000 milliamps, it's, it's still quite heaps, so that's not bad, I mean, it's not the advertised 50,000, but it's something, when I bought it, I knew it wouldn't have been anyway, 50,000 milliamps is huge. Um, but 8,000 milliamps, that's still very good. Um, so as a whole, apart from the 50,000 milliamp thing, I'd say I'd, I'd recommend it. Um, it does the job, charges your devices. Um, it does charge in the sun. It's a little bit, it's a little bit strange at first to get to work out what's going on with it. Um, it comes with all the plugs and stuff. So, so as long as you know it's not 50,000 milliamps, um, then it's something I would recommend. Uh, I've used it to charge my phone, uh, iPhone 5. Uh, a few of my, you know, cycling GPS Garmin, um, what else, just heaps of things, and it, and it works great, so um, I would recommend it. Uh, I've had it for about a week, and it hasn't failed me yet, so that's um, that's a good sign. Um, yeah, other than that, for the price, it's, it's pretty good, uh, so yeah, link in the description below if you are interested in purchasing it. Just keep in mind, it isn't 50,000 milliamps. Um, and yeah, it's probably better to use as a charger, uh, as a battery that you've actually charged via the USB rather than the solar. Um, as I said, the solar does work. It's just, it's a bit iffy. I'm not too sure hundred percent if it's actually charging half the time or not. So, um, maybe I'm just not putting it in the best of sunlight, but, um, yeah, so that's my review. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hope that covered some things for you. If you have any questions at all, if you've got one or you're buying one or, you've just bought one and you have any questions about how it works or whatever let me know in the comments below and i'll answer as i'll answer as best i can and um we'll go from there so thanks for watching uh please like comment and subscribe to my channel i'm always reviewing products and specifically more so cycling uh products and stuff like that so yeah please subscribe please like this video and i'll see you soon okay so before i end the review i'll actually go outside and get some proper sunlight and show you how it works so um, it's a pretty gloomy day. It doesn't look that bad in the camera, but it's pretty gloomy. We just had a storm. So I think that's how it's supposed to charge. So right now it's charging the, you know, second LED or the second bank. Um, 
and as it charges, it'll start flashing the third LED, then the fourth. So I think that I think it works. Um, I just haven't experimented with it long enough, but uh, definitely works great as a battery charger. Um, oh, battery in general, sorry. Um, that's about it. So yeah, thanks for watching.